So let's look at just a few examples that will explain all we've been saying. <coughs> now remember, we are trying to transform sets from set builder's form to what we call the listed form of set. So if I am working with set and then I come across this, I don't really, the first thing I will do is to write out the elements of this set before I'll be able to answer any other question that is asked. So here, the first question, the question is list the elements of the following sets. So this is a set. What are the elements of this set? First one says, this is a set of prime numbers less than 30. You should have first of all asked yourself, what are prime numbers? Then that will help you to list the elements of the set. The second one says that P is a set of X such that some textbooks will use something like this, a slash. But it's still the same thing, such that X belongs to a set of natural numbers. That is to say, P is a set of X. Now, these are the elements. X is the element of the set. But this side further explains the element here. The next thing says that X belongs to a set of natural numbers, telling you that these elements of this set must be natural number, that is positive numbers. And then this X ranges from, remember, natural numbers start from 1. So we now say that X is less than 13, meaning that the element of this set will start from 1 and ends at 12, since it is less than 13. Here, Q is a set of Y such that Y belongs to a set of integers. And I told that integers are positive and negative whole numbers, including 0. So you can see that here, it is minus 4 to 9, which we are going to list the element of the set. And here, B is a set of X such that X lies between minus 3 and 4, but none of them is inclusive. So let me start with the first one to list the elements of the set. The first question here, I can say that this is set X, which is equals to prime numbers less than 30. What are prime numbers? They are numbers that has only two factors, one and itself. And the first prime number is always two. So prime numbers less than 30. So let's start listing them. Two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 24 is not a prime number, 25 is not, 26 is not, 27 is not. Because 27 can be divided by 1, 9 itself, and so on, even 3, then 29, less than 30, so you stop at 29. So these are the elements of this set. So you've been able to transform this set from set builder's form to listed form. It is now at this point that you can make use of this particular set. All right. Then the next one says that P is a set of X. So P is a set of X such that X belongs to this symbol here means belongs to or is a member of the natural number and x is less than 13. So what are natural numbers? They are numbers that are positive numbers or counting numbers and definitely they start from 1. So that means that the element of this set will start from 1 and ends at 12 since they say that x is less than 13, meaning it will stop at 12. So the element of set P will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I've been able to list the element of set P. Now, what will be the element of set Q? The element of set Q will be, you say Q is a set of Y such that Y belongs to a set of integers and it ranges from minus 4, okay, if you go to the number line, this is very important. This is 0, 1, 2, and so on. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. On the positive, from left to right, the number increases. But on the negative, from right to left, 
the number decreases. What I mean is that look at one, the next number is two, which is greater than the previous number. The next number will be three, which is greater than the previous number. But on the negative, this is minus one. As you keep going, it becomes smaller, it keeps reducing, meaning that minus one is bigger than minus two. Minus two is bigger than minus three. Minus three is bigger than minus four and so on. So when we say that, why? Okay, let's read this. Y is, this is, you are going this way. So you will say that Y is greater than minus 4. Y is greater than minus 4. Now, question. On this number line, this is minus 4. And you say Y is greater than minus, minus 4. The question now is, what is the first number on this negative side that is greater than minus 4? Don't forget that minus 3 is greater than minus 4. If I'm looking for a negative number that is less than minus 4, it would have been minus 5 because minus 5 is less than minus 4. So the first number that is greater than minus 4 is minus 3. So you can see that it is going this way. So y is greater than minus 4. This is minus 4. This is minus 4. The first number greater than minus 4 is minus 3. So the arrow will be going this way. Okay. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Then y is less than or equals to 9. So you pick your 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, till. Remember, since it is less than or equals to 9, that means that 9 will be inclusive. But if I did something like this, then that means that minus 4 will also be inclusive because it's less than, okay, greater than or equals to minus 4. That means minus 4 would have been inclusive. Okay, so that means that the elements of set Q will be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and line. So these are the elements of set Q. I want to believe this is very very simple so you can give this a try and then please get a good textbook or mathematics textbook open to sets or inequality try to see how you can list the elements of sets. It is very very simple. Don't forget when you practice that's when you get to understand better. Please do. So thank you very much. Still Video Mathematics Tutor Emmanuel Johnny. Please stay tuned because we are still going to continue with this concept of sets. I promise it's going to be very, very interesting, understandable, and so on. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.